helps you to understand that, hey, that, hey, I got my, my problems are nothing. This is nothing. Yeah. Uh, we don't a, have third world This problems. is a first world problem. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, look at, look, look at what's happening to other, other folks. Yeah. And it really does mm-hmm. make you, I, I wish we could take uh, the people that don't think they have enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And them that you have way more than yeah. sometimes you deserve. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's um, when when the person in front of you in Starbucks is uh, yelling at the barista because their triple half calf latte with soy milk it was you know it has three ounces more milk than they asked for. Um, you really want to pull them inside and just say, really, you know, why don't you why don't I take you on a trip and uh, we'll we'll see how your perspective changes. And uh, and you're right, Bill. It's it, as often as we go. Um, you know, we go twice a year and I've been on 10 trips now and I need that. I, I need those trips every time because yeah, I can get full of myself and I can get um, full of the world and get used to and accustomed to, um, the, the privilege that we have here in the United yeah. States. And, um, so to go there and to be grounded and, and get back to that level of contentment and just saying, yeah, you know, look around, you see all these people in these uh, areas where we serve and they're all happy and regardless of what they have and they don't have much. And, uh, it does, it does put life in perspective. Did did COVID did COVID affect your trips the last year and a half? It did, and that's so sad, Wendy. Um, I I, I don't know. This is a big deal to us, obviously. Um, and so anytime that uh, when we look at the fact that we couldn't go on these trips, um, but trips. what what happened in the third world countries that don't have the big safety net, um, and you know the affluence like the U.S. and and the Western world. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of people that died, um, in through 20 and 2021 and not from COVID they died from starvation, basic medicine, and just all, all the challenges that those countries, you know, it's magnified tenfold, um, from them being isolated and living paycheck to paycheck when they're in lockdown and they can't go work, they went hungry and they literally did. And so, you know, for, for all that and, and, you know, the hundreds of other, you know, we can go right on down the list, uh, other, you know, issues that, that occurred in these third world countries. It just, you know, that, that absolutely, you know, broke my heart to see that. And so that it, it did affect us. We were the second team to go back into Ensenada, Mexico and build in 2020. And um, this last trip that we, uh, that we took right before Thanksgiving, we were the largest trip that went back into Ensenada, Mexico um, and built uh, three houses and took 50 people with us. And so I, I don't say that to you know, pat ourselves Amazing. on the back or anything, but it's just that we, we, we realize and, and we truly feel that, um, you know, our business, um, you know, we are, we are the hands and the feet and this is just a vessel and, and God moves money through us to go and serve. And so to not be able to do that, um, yeah. we it's not in a good place last year. So when's your next trip? So next trip is coming up in June and um, we're waiting to hear back from the base in YWAM as to uh, the dates that um, we can build. So we're, we're most likely the second week of June. We, we try to allow kids to get out of school because this is a family friendly mission trip that we take. So um, we give them some time so that the kids can go and uh, we'll get a schedule after that. And usually uh, uh, um, as Bill knows, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is what we try to schedule these trips for. So, um, you know, bank on that um, somewhere close to that around the second week of June. 